Hi, I'm John Storms, and we are about to do something crazy with our smart receivers. We are going to do a full chain of six smart receivers in a row, plus a second chain of smart receivers, just two. Uh, but this is kind of playing the bigger and better game as part of the, uh, the big experiment and learning exercise for the Falcon smart receivers. But before we get started, please subscribe to our channel, give the video a like, and if you could, give us a comment. That really helps the algorithm so that other people can find the channel as well. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, so in this configuration, we're going a little bit crazier. So what we're going to show in this configuration is a full chain of smart receivers. So you can have up to six smart receivers in a single chain. So in this, in this configuration, I got my computer talking to the F48 V4. Then on part, port one through four, we have an SRX1 that's on daisy chain to another X, SRX1, daisy chain to another and another, and ending with an SRX2. Okay, the SRX2 counts as two receivers, even though it's on one board. Okay, so we go and we set the little dials to A, B, C, D, and then E on this one, plus we set the terminator switches on this guy. Okay, and that will spray a whole bunch of ports across that. Then, uh, just for funds, because we have the extra receiver board, we are going to put the other SRX2 receiver board on ports five through six. Even though it's one board, it's still a receiver chain, and it's a chain A and then B. So we set the dial to A, and it consumes both A and B, and we set the terminator switches. Okay, and uh, then we'll uh, we'll have some fun uh, experimenting with that. Walking through the hardware configuration of this setup, uh, again, I'm using the Falcon F48 V4, and I am using, I have a full chain of smart receivers off of port 1 through 4, and then I have a SRX2 off of ports 5 through 8, right? So purple cable is the Ethernet for uh, between the Falcon and my computer. And then we follow the yellow cable for 1 through 4, and it takes us to this SRX1 receiver that is has its dial set to A. And then it has a cable that takes us to the next SRX1 receiver and its dial is set to B and then we daisy chain from there to the next SRX1 and its dial is set to C and then it has a daisy chain cable over to a fourth SRX1 and it is dialed into D. And then that one, huh, Daisy chains over to this SRX2, and it has its uh, little dial set to E. And of course, it consumes two, so that's E and F, and that's it. You can only have six receivers on one chain. And it has the Terminator dip switches, so we have those set to on. Okay? Now, if we go back to the Falcon F48, so that's one full chain, one full receiver chain of smart receivers. Now, we look, and we have the next port populated, and that is port 5 through 8. And we follow that one all the way over to this SRX2, and that dial is set to A, and it will consume A and B, and then over there, up here in the corner, over there, we have the Terminator switches set to on. Okay. And that is the physical layout for that guy, for this configuration. What you're seeing here is a web browser screen open to my uh, Falcon F48 V4 controller. And we're going to set this up for the configuration we were just talking about, a full chain of smart receivers plus a second chain of receivers. 
Okay, so on the status window, let me save that. I just cleared the configuration. All right, so back at the status window, we have it set up for eight smart receiver chains. And honestly, in this configuration, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we go back to pixel settings. So this is the pixel outputs. And we want to set up a full pixel chain. Okay, so we will go up here to the little blue cross, the little blue plus, and convert this to a smart receiver. So now we have A, and we're going to do it again. We have B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, then on ports five through eight, we have two receiver. We have two receivers on one board. So we're going to have A and B, okay? Now on these guys, I have 200 pixels each. Now watch what happens when we do this. First of all, I put 200 pixels here, and then I can press F3 to just keep adding it to the next line. F3, 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 we keep going, and we're on E, and watch what happens, we get to F. Oh, everything turns red, oh no, red is bad, what happened? Remember, there was a limit of 1024 pixels per port. So port one has a limit of 1024 pixels. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000. We're at 1200 for port one. We can't do that. If I put in 24 here, look at that. It's okay. Let me, so 24 here. And if I did F3, 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 see that? Now, if I put 25 here, that's not allowed. So I have exceeded the port limit. So when it says 1024 per port, that includes all the way through that receiver chain. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to set this one up for 100. Okay. Even though I have 200 on there, I'm just going to set up as 100. And now we're fine, okay? Now on five, we're gonna set that up with 200, right? Nope, not 201. I don't like the little buttons. I keep hitting them and messing things up. And 200 for each of those, okay? We s And they're all at 40%. I want this to be at 30%. I change it to 30, and now I hit Shift F3, and it carries that 30% all the way through. See that? F3 and Shift F3, those were little tips we picked up at the Florida Mega Mini from Keith Wesley's class on Advanced Falcon Controllers. All right, so we save our configuration. We go over to Test. This is the moment of truth, right? And I check to see, we got, here's all... A through F for the for the port one, and then A and B for five through eight. Okay, so we hit enable. Oh, thank goodness, it's working. Okay, so here we are with, so we got the full setup. See, I'm doing all my testing on my, um, my, my pebbles or seeds or fairy lights, and so I'm testing the smart receivers at the same time. So right now, all of those smart receivers are going. So the chain goes from him to him to him to him to him to him. And then he's on his own chain, right? So this guy represents ports five through eight. These other guys all represent ports one through four with A through F. Now over here, you can see where I had to set it up for 100 pixels because 200 was too many. Okay, so if I'm doing my full pixel test, what I probably want to do is instead of doing a full chain, maybe break it, break it up in half. Do half of the, the setup on ports 1 through 4, the other half on 5 through 8. And we'll do that in a subsequent video. But this shows a full smart receiver chain in action. Kind of cool, isn't it?